good. Yeah, just to just to confirm, it's okay that I record this. Just if you say yes. It's then, okay. Okay, 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 cool. Um, all right, we've got Namasenda in the house. She's playing the rickshaw stop tonight, June 24th um, in San Francisco. Uh, Namasenda, thank you so much for joining us, KXSF. Thank you for having me. Sick. So um, you, this is your U.S. debut. Um, or, I mean, San Francisco is not your U.S. debut, but this is your U.S. debut tour. Yes. Um, so I just want to say, how was L.A.? How was your performance in L.A.? Uh, it was amazing. I wasn't really expecting, like that type of turnout so i was a bit shocked but it, it was really good i had a great time cool. and this is a return to la for you because you attended a uh, music college in la as well so i wanted to talk to you about that in terms of whether it was formative in terms of your um, development as a musician um not really like i went there when i was 18 mm -hmm. um just because i really wanted to like get out of sweden and get out of europe uh, but then I realized that um, I had everything that I needed right. back home. So, um, I mean, it was formative in a way that, like, I realized that, you know, like, I had, like, some great musicians and people around me, like, right in front of my face. Right. I didn't have to go, like, all the way to L.A. to are find there, Yeah, are there specific people that, like, you want to call out in terms of, like, um, it's a very young time to go to L.A. as well and then come back. Yeah, it was, I was all over the place. I was like, yeah, first LA, and then I went to London, and I was like, I don't know what I was doing. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I found some great people to work with in Sweden, finally. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, through them, or like through like whatever I did with them, I found PC Music. Right. Yeah, so, you've, yeah. Um, like, in pre previous interviews, you said that, like, Sweden is in, like, a creative glut, or that there's not other artists in Sweden that inspire you but now you know you you've worked with uh like year one and a lot of the people in drain gang um are there people in sweden now that like you, you obviously you at the forefront of that movement do you think sweden is developing its own sound at all or its own underground i mean i think that sweden has always had like its own sound and its own underground and great musicians it's just that i don't really um, I don't think I've been inspired by them. Like, sure. that's the only thing. But I love a lot of Swedish music. Like, I think it's great, but I don't think... Um, I wouldn't say that it's, like, an inspiration. But I really, really enjoy listening to a lot of Swedish music. I think Swedes are, like, some of the best musicians there is. Right. Yeah. Like, Max Martin. Yeah, like exactly. Of, uh, like, Shellback. Like, all of those people. Like, his whole gang is great. And obviously like everyone at year one, right. um, me. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. I mean, you always gotta plug yourself. Um, so I want to talk about like your musical experiences as a young person between, you know, when you were 18 and then you returned. Um, are there any like specific performances or concerts that you went to in that era that you think um, mm. were inspirational or? Wow, I can't really, my, my memory is so bad, so like, I can't really like remember anything that's been like super like wow or actually I do. Um, I went to this uh, festival in Gothenburg and I saw Sia oh. and it blew my mind. Right. Like I think she's such a great artist. She's an incredible vocalist. She, too. she is like I was standing in the rain by myself. Mm -hmm like just watching the whole show and I was like I'm so grateful that I am alive at the same time as her because right. that was an amazing show mm -hmm. is that something that you do often like going to concerts alone because I know there's um it, it can be kind of scary to do that alone um sometimes I do but like this was just I think I was with friends but they were just not there oh, well festivals <laughs> so, can get kind of yeah crazy, right? so no. I mean but I I definitely um I mean I don't have a problem with going to a concert on my own. Do you have any like message for your fans that are showing that might be showing up to your concert tonight alone? Like just I think it's just um it can be scary, but mm -hmm. like everyone that's going to the show is going there because they like the artist. So I think like you'll meet people, like you you'll maybe make new friends. I think it's just like you shouldn't stress out about it. Like just just go and have fun. Right. So speaking of festivals, you just played Ladyland Festival in Brooklyn. Yes. And I know you mentioned that you wanted to see Tinashe. Did you get to see her? Did you, I got to see her. Did you get to meet her at all or talk? No, or I chat? didn't because uh -huh. I, um, I, I really wanted to see her like from like 
I wanted to get like a good view of the stage, right. so I wasn't like watching from backstage or anything. Uh-huh. What's um, your like go to tonight? What were you waiting for her to play? Sorry. What's your like go to Tinashe song? Um, it was what's that called? Uh, what? It's X, and then there's one. I think it's called Bouncing. Like the one where she's on yeah, the, the trampoline. Like Dude, was she that, on a trampoline on the stage? Yeah, they had it, but I had to go right before that song. It pissed me off. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Are there? <laughs> so. Are we gonna see any like acrobatics in terms of your <laughs> set tonight? No, I no. wish. Is that something? I mean, like, if you were to like have you know blank check budget, like, are there things that you want to? Oh do yeah, with the definitely. Visual like, I'd love to do like all of that stuff. But oh. like right now, I actually like sprained my ankle oh, um, no. in London, mm-hmm. so. I'm trying to be a bit more chill. Is there a story behind that? You just sprained your ankle. I just I slipped on stage. Oh, that's that's what happened. Uh So I like I had like a really big set list. Like the set list was on like a poster Mm -hmm. because I couldn't find any paper. Right. And then obviously, of course, I slipped on it. Right. Um, So Ladyland is billed as like a queer festival. I I want to know like what does it mean to you to be so embraced by the queer community and have your music kind of. uh, Oh, it means the world like it means everything because i've always like i feel like the queer community those are the people that like they get it first Mm -hmm. and then everyone else catches on right right right. Uh, and i've been like i feel like i've been really embraced by the whole community Mm -hmm. um and i mean everyone i know is basically queer so um it's just I don't know. It's just a big part of my life. Is like queer art something you were plugged into as a young person, or <sighs> not necessarily? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I think like I've just been open for everything. Right. Um, but I would say that queer art, um, in any form, is is usually what I like get drawn into. Right. That's, that's totally fair. Is it? Yeah. So it's Pride Month this month. Have you done any like Pride activities? Did you get to do anything in LA? I or? haven't. Like this is like the only. I guess tonight is like my Pride moment. Right, right. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm going back to Spain, so I hope they're having like some kind of like good Pride moment that I can do in the coming week. Uh huh. And so, in a previous interview, you said Spain is your main bitch, and I wanted to unpack that. <laughs> I like love, love, love for Spain. I right? love Spain. Uh-huh. And it's like, this goes back to like, because I, um, I always drink kava. Like, that's my the Kava, thing. The, the Polynesian, the, is it, or is it something else? No. Uh, so, uh-huh. this is, is so kava? funny. Yeah, yeah. Kava is like Prosecco, but way better. Oh, interesting. Like, okay. it's top tier. Is it like a like, tapas thing you drink, like eat and drink at the same time, or you just drink the kava? I mean, kava is like, it's that drink, oh, okay, but okay. obviously you can't dr- drink uh-huh. it uh-huh. Do you get, with it's like a, Do you get tipsy or you get wasted? What's the... You can do, you can be both. Uh-huh. I mean, it's alcohol, so... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh-huh. but it's, it's really good. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, that has been my thing. Like, everyone that knows me knows that, like, kava is... Mm-hmm. Like, I talk about it every day. Do you like, have, like, a go-to? I know that because your Twitter handle is also Kava Princess. Yeah, and I was trying to figure out, like, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what Kava was. But, um, do you have, like, a go-to place you like to go to in Spain or I mean, for Kava? You can get Kava anywhere there, uh-huh. but um, I love Barcelona. Yeah, so you played Barcelona with um, with PC Music. I didn't want to talk about that. So, like, it seemed like the set list was insane. It was, like, a three-hour set. It was set. crazy. Yeah, do you want, oh yeah, you want to tell any, like, any stories or just what was the energy? I don't like, even bro? know, like... It was, like, insane backstage, insane on stage, insane in the crowd. Like, it Mm -hmm. was such a good energy that night. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you have any highlights? Well, I mean, I I did my show, and Mm -hmm. then uh, Bad Gal was also playing in another room. Uh So I kind of, like, snuck away. You've talked about your love for Bad Gal. I'm I'm glad you were able to have that. That's why I'm not on the... Because they did, like, a PC picture on Uh stage. That's why I'm not in the picture. Uh Because I was... You get lost. It's a festival. I was watching Bad Gal. Yeah, yeah. That's Basically. I do want to talk about, so, um, you know, PC music, and you're you're now a label signee. I want to ask, because you've told the story of you sliding into A.G. Cook's DMs, but I wanted (laughs) to, like, unpack, like, what drew you to PC music initially? Like, do you remember your initial contact with um, PC music as a concept? I think, like, I think I heard Pink and Blue 
My Hannah. Um, I think that was like the first song I heard in like I don't even know when it came out, like mm -hmm. 2013 yeah, or something. Yeah, that was like and volume I, one. Yeah, yeah, and I was actually living in London at the time. Uh -huh. Um, so I was listening on it um, on SoundCloud and then like through that because you know like when you listen to one song on SoundCloud it like bounces to right, another right, right, like right, similar right. and through that I think I found AG mm -hmm. and then I just I was just like um, a really big fan I was listening to um, all of his productions and mm -hmm. um, and then I just. I don't know, like, it took me a couple of years to, like, get the courage to, like, right, right. actually, uh, to actually write, but I'm really happy So when you I released Hop Babe 93, you were not no. signed with PC Music No, yet. I wasn't signed anywhere. Um, was it, was the PC Music aesthetic and influence when you, when you made that album? Um, I mean, I wasn't really, like, thinking about it like that, but I mean, definitely, I think, um, I think... I mean, at the very least, yeah, like the pitched up exactly. vocals. Exactly. Yeah, very, I think you know, I've just because I was listening to it so much, so right. obviously, like it made some kind of impact on me. Right. You've mentioned also in the past that um, share that the song "Believe" and yeah. that moment with the auto tune was like kind of an aha moment. Yeah. And I know A. G. Cook has also mentioned that song in really? past interviews. Yeah. Is that something you've talked to him about? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't know that. That's, that's sick. It's such a good song, though. Okay, so I want to go back to uh, Spain. Just, like, the concept of <laughs> Me Spain. too. Yeah, so, um, has, like, so you've played Barcelona, you've played Madrid. Like, do you have, like, favorite cities now? Or is, like, where, where's your favorite place to go in Spain? What's I mean, the, I've what's only the been to Spain? three cities. I've been uh -huh. to Bilbao, Madrid, and Barcelona. Uh -huh. um, I like them all equally. Uh -huh. um, but I think, like, Barcelona is more, like, the place to be, I uh -huh. guess. Okay, well, a strong endorsement for Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then you also said your your friends were arrested for selling your merch. Oh my god, that was that so fucking funny. Uh -huh. So basically, um, they walk out because I did my own show at Primavera, like at the actual festival, on the Saturday, I think. And so yeah, I did my set, and then my friends went out like with a suitcase, like selling the merch, and I think they asked the security if they could sell it mm -hmm. and they said yes mm -hmm. but then like one of my friends he see them like talking on the walkie talkie and then all of a sudden like everyone like the whole fucking squad uh -huh. shows up Wait, did you get to sell any merch at all or just i think he across? did uh -huh. actually okay. but then they they confiscated my bag mm -hmm. and then um but then they just brought it back because they couldn't be bothered to walk all the way to the place where they had to put it right, right, so right. I don't even know. It oh. was just a very weird the situation. It's, it's tough, yeah. Sometimes the festival security gets a little... But it was fun for me, at mm -hmm. least. And my friends are fine. So, like, just, like, staying on the topic of merch, is there any merch that you have from other artists that, like, that you treasure or... I love the Hannah Diamond merch. I think she makes great mm -hmm. merch. She's a great visual artist, and she it, shot your cover as well. Yeah. Right? She's really good at everything she does. Mm -hmm. um, who else? I have... Yeah, I have a hoodie. Um, it's Darko's merch that I really like. Like, very top quality hoodie. Right. I wear it all the time. You said you're in you're in love with Darko. Is that are you are we ever gonna see a track come out? Or? Have I said that I'm in love you with him? You said on the record that what you are in love with Darko. I've, I've here now. Show. Not not here now. What? In a previous <laughs> like interview. what? No 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 no. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's true. Um, <laughs> We, yeah, we actually made, um, I mean, I think we've made a couple of songs, but there is one that's actually, like, done that he, we played it um, at the year one thing at uh -huh. Primavera. Okay, awesome. And year one is going to be back uh, at Primavera in LA as well in the future um, in September. Are you going to be involved with that at all? No, I don't think so. All right, cool. Um, so I want to go like <laughs> into your musical history a, a bit. So you started off in a punk band yes. when you were 12. Can you tell us about any influences you had as a punk artist? Like, is that... Oh my God. I was listening to a lot of like Swedish, uh, punk bands. Can you make some recommendations? Cause I don't think we're, um, we're there's on one <laughs> called Ebba Grön, uh, oh. which is like Ebba Green, uh -huh. I guess. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, they were like really big. 
-hmm. Like, I think it was, like, the 70s or something. Uh -huh. um, and then I was listening to a, one really fun band called Gris and Skrike, which it means, like, directly translated, it's, like, The Pig is Screaming. Uh -huh. the pig <laughs> so is those, <laughs> those were, like, my favorite uh -huh. bands. Uh, but obviously, I was listening to, like, The Ramones, Sex Pistols, like, sure, you sure. know. Like, classic. Like, British, yeah, the classic, yeah. yeah. Where, where did you find Swedish punk? Like, where, what, yeah. It was actually, it's so funny, like, at the library. I don't know if you have the same thing here, but, like, uh, all libraries in Sweden, they also have, like, records oh, that you can borrow. Like, vinyls or CDs? No, CDs. Okay, yeah, like, we have CDs. And library. also vinyls, I think. Um, but, yeah, that you can borrow. So I used to just go there and just, like, go through all the covers and just like pick the ones that looked interesting what were you uh, what what were you drawn to when it comes to a cover i mean it's so different but like i think these ones i was drawn to because first of all the name mm -hmm. and then also um like they were like really colorful mm -hmm. um I know, like, yeah. in hyper-pop adjacent music now, we are getting a lot of, like, punk-style vocals. Do you think you'll fold that back into your music at some point? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm very much pop. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, my whole approach to things um, is, like, yeah, very, like, punk. And uh, always will be. In, in what way? Like, like, I'm just very, like, I'll just do whatever feels good right right and like zero fucks i guess do you still like do you ever go to a punk show and get involved with that are you a mosher at all no i am not a mosher at all like i am the person that's like standing like way 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 back and uh -huh. just like looking yeah <laughs> um and so after your punk band you had a band called next step is that right There's yes a house music did. band called next Step. yeah and i haven't been able to find any of that music online where where was it uploaded like soundcloud or Bandcamp? oh my god i have no idea like uh -huh. i don't even think it was like uploaded anywhere uh -huh. i think we just like played live uh -huh. this was like i was like 15 okay or yeah, something sure. can you describe um, the music you were making back then we were like really so you know when Black Eyed Peas started making like EDM? Right, right. So like we heard that music and we were like, oh my God, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. We want to make the same kind of music. Right. So that's kind of how it started. Black Eyed um, Peas, it's all on the hooks. Like, I yeah, it exactly. Did you, do you remember any of your hooks from that era? I really don't. Um, I know we had a song called Guantanamo. Guantanamo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. You do, like, you do, like, the topics do get a little edgy because this whole album also has been, like, centered around kind of guns and gun as an aesthetic. Do you want to, like, unpack that a little? I mean, I don't think it's that edgy. I mean, it's just guns exist. Right. Like, it's just a part of the world we're in. Uh, it was so funny, like, people were really... Um, some people were like, oh, this is like violence. And, mm -hmm. But, you know, like, I don't really view it that way. I just, I mean, it's, I'm not shooting anyone. Right, for right. Real. Have you ever shot like, a gun? You, no, never, I ever? haven't. Uh -huh. do you, I shot do like you want a, to do that at all? I that do, that? Uh -huh. but like at a shooting range, right, not yeah. like shoot There's something. There's a bunch of California. I, mean, I know, like gun, I gun really store. need to go. I uh -huh. feel like I would be really good at it. You think? You think I, you'd be hitting the target? I think so. Like, uh -huh. I'm very confident. <laughs> So I wanted to like, so the music video for No Regrets has you shooting a gun. Yeah. And this is like a bit of history, but in 2013, Charlie XCX also had a video where she like showed a bunch of guns and she had to apologize like immediately afterwards for like glamorizing guns That's, and yeah. showing gun culture. Was that anything where you were dipping your toes into the gun debate at all? Was that something I'm that you thought I'm not apologizing about? for anything. That's fair. <laughs> That's Never a, ever? No. Yeah. That's cool. So you mentioned... Um, in your Reddit AMA, like two years ago, you said the upcoming work, the vibe you were going for was girls just want to have fun meets Die Hard 4.0. Do you think you captured that vibe? Was that... I think so, but also kind of like that, but also a bit of like sad girl uh -huh. moments. Yeah, the, um, there are a lot more down-tempo yeah. moments on this album than... What, what was influencing that? Was it COVID or...? No, it was just like my mood at the time, mm -hmm. basically. What is your like approach to songwriting, taking your mood and turning it into a song? Um, it's very like, I just... Um, I'm very much like in the moment, like if I'm here, like now I'm here with you and like that's all that matters or right. like if I'm feeling some type I'm very like right here right now mm -hmm. um so I think I was just like in 
um, I was just going through it, right. basically. Well, the like action movie tropes are a great way to like make yourself feel like you have agency exactly. and kind of aggression. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned Lara Croft and Mission Impossible, both yes. being movies that you went. Did you have a favorite Mission Impossible movie? I don't have a favorite, but there is one that I really don't like. It's the one where like they kill his wife. I can't. That's the most. Oh, that's like, the second one or the third one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. that one scares me so much. It's awful. I. Just so wait, which part of like, it scares you? Like just them killing her. It's oh, just okay. it made me so sad. But the normal, the regular violence doesn't. Yeah, it's not. That's fine. All. Are you a Tom Cruise fan? Like, no, I mean, not I, mean at all. I mean, I, I, mean, yeah, I don't dislike athlete. him, yeah, right, right. but like, I wouldn't say I'm a fan. Uh-huh. I just, I just love action movies. Mm-hmm. Like, I love. Do you have like, like a power ranking? Can we get? Are there any Swedish action movies that you like? Um, there are actually. There's one um, called. Uh, Snubba Cash, which is like fast cash or whatever. Uh-huh. Is it um, a heist, heist movie? Kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about like gang activity slash heist stuff. Um, it's a good one. Okay. How about yeah. American action movies? What stands out to you? Um, American one. I mean, Die Hard is like a vibe. Do you have a favorite Die Hard? No, I love them all. You love them all? Yeah. Equally, even the one where they're hacking the White House or whatever? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a choice. <laughs> Um, I'm not very picky when it comes to movies. Like, okay. just shoot and fight and scream and okay. explosions. But you and mentioned I'm, Interstellar I'm being, a, like, a favorite movie. That is, that is still yeah, the case? That it's, it is. Is it the sci-fi element or just it's Matthew just, I think the whole movie is so, like, it got me so, like, it's a trippy one. You know when they're at um, the water planet mm-hmm, and it's yeah. been, like, 20 years? Like, I was, like... I had to like pause the movie because I just couldn't like it was stressing grasp. You out. The... Oh, okay. <laughs> but I love that movie. Uh-huh. I think it's. Yeah. Do you like Inception? Is that Christopher Nolan? I Nolan's do. Same vibe? Did you yeah. watch Tenet? Did you? Watch I Tenet? did. Did you? I did. I what like Robert Pattinson. What was going so on? I have no idea. I I had to like watch like an explanation mm-hmm. afterwards, and I still didn't get it. Is that it. something you do a lot? Like you like a I YouTube don't. But this uh-huh. but this one, I was like, what is going on? Like mm-hmm. I. I was like, I don't know what I just watched. I think it was just mostly for the vibes and not really the plot. So weird. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So I do want to talk about the music. Um, you have Unlimited Ammo out now, and you also have the remix album. So yes. what was the thought process between choosing which artists you wanted to remix what songs? Um, I actually let, like, I just chose or I asked the people that I really like, um, to remix and then I just let them choose themselves so that's why like there are some songs that have like two remixes right right um because I just let them choose Mm -hmm. um because I think it's more fun that way Mm -hmm. um so it was basically just like people that I think are really talented Mm -hmm. were there any remixes that you left off or anyone that you reached out to who never got back there is some that's not on it Mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna you're not going to call the tea. Okay. No. <laughs> Are there any that we might hear in the future? Or no? um, I don't think so. Okay, that's fair. Um, I wanted to go through like a couple of artists that you've mentioned wanting to work with in the yeah. past and see like where they would fit in on like another Unlimited Ammo yeah. Remix album. Is that okay? So you just give me like a little about like what that artist means to you and okay. whether or not they would fit on an Unlimited Ammo Infinity, Infinity remix. Album. Okay. Okay. So number one is Cassie. You mentioned. Yeah, Cassie she would definitely well. fit in. Uh-huh. She would do like Star, I think. Okay. Well, what what's she? What is she adding to Star? She would actually do Dare, uh-huh. but. But Dare's not on the album. Yeah. So. The AM or PM. AM. AM. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. You've mentioned Octavian. Yeah, he no, we're not doing that. We're not doing no. that. The, 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 are we striking that we from the are, features list? N- yes. Okay, interesting. Unfortunately. Okay, you mentioned Darko already. Where's yeah. Darko fitting into the unlimited? Emblem? Darko would do maybe shots fired. Okay, that makes sense. Um, the Blaze. Yes. Uh huh. They would do. No, they would do shots fired. Okay, where's Darko? And Darko going? would do. Maybe finish him. Okay. How about Skrillex? Skrillex would do Volvo. Okay. Bad Gal, who you just saw. She, oh my, she would do Demonic. Okay. Obviously. Um, City Girls? City Girls, what would they do? Are you getting JT on Snow. one? Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. that's what, 
Um, and then future. 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 He would be on. That's a an interesting one. I think we would just make a new song. Make a new song. What yes. kind of what kind of song are you trying to make with future? Like the best song ever. That's fair. <laughs> um, is your music really gonna be in Fortnite? You you tweeted that your music. Is Why is no one believing me? It is in uh-huh. Fortnite. What is the contact? It, it's already there. Yeah, it uh-huh. is in. Do you know game. what like radio station? Like where is it being playlisted? On Icon Radio. Icon Radio. Yes. What song is going? To, what song is on it? It's No Regrets. No Regrets. Okay. Yes. Have you played Fortnite? I have, and I'm very bad at it. Uh huh. Because also Black Ops Two is the first song on Unlimited Ammo. Yeah. Do you think you can get your song into Call of Duty? I mean, if you want to call them and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll represent, <laughs> sure. Um, are you good at video games? Because this is like something that's um, like... I mean, define good. Uh-huh. Do you enjoy I, them? I, I enjoy them, but <sighs> I don't know. I'm not going to be like an eSports star anytime soon. Uh-huh. Is your um, username in Fortnite going to be Hobbit93 or no? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Do you have that's like an alternate a, that's username? A, that that's you a use? good. I don't. No, or no, I no. actually I do, but I'm no, not. Not, no, I'm not doxing fair. myself. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. I wanted to ask if you were to make an action movie, who would you cast in it? What is the plot looking like? Just uh, visualize um, as a producer. Who I would cast? What is I would Nama cast action movie Beyonce. Like? Beyonce. Yes. And what is she doing in the She's movie? She's like shooting all over the place. Uh-huh. Her and Hannah Diamond. Her and Hannah Diamond. And they're fighting. Yeah, so you have worked with Hannah Diamond for the, um, for on, on Steel, first of all, but also for the album cover. What yes. was the um, like studio session like working on Steel? Uh, we actually didn't have a session. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't have any sessions for the mixtape. Uh-huh. Um, me and AG, we just, like, put on Zoom and mm-hmm. then, like, didn't talk to each other for hours and then, like... We were like working on things on our own, but kind of like still on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's like the sessions that I had. Um, So I basically, um, I just wrote the song and then I sent it to her and Mm -hmm. then she did her verse. You said that, you said before that you're like a melody first type of uh, of producer. Yeah, definitely. How does that fit into AG's uh, creative process? Um, I think it fits very well because like we usually like, he comes up with um, a beat and then maybe I have like some input, sometimes I don't. Um, and then we just kind of like um, make a melody out of that. And then like, I can like almost like instantly just feel what the song will be about. Like I just kind of like, um, I let like the beat tell me like what the song is about basically. Right. Are you, um, so on your previous work, you used to pitch up your vocals a lot more, yeah. but on this album, it's not so much. No. Was that a conscious choice or something? Yeah, that you were definitely. With? Yeah. Um, what, 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 what was going into that decision? I think I just wanted to try something new because mm-hmm. um, I feel like it's, like it's so boring to just like keep doing the same things over and over. So right. like even with um, the new music that I'm making now, it's like very different from the mixtape. What is the vibe of the new music? Um, I mean, I'm very, um, I'm very like keen to going to Atlanta right now. Yeah, you mentioned that you so you <laughs> like, haven't been to Atlanta yet. No, I haven't, uh-huh. but I am going. What is the draw of Atlanta for you? Um, I I just feel like it's very like vibey. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll mm-hmm. see. But I have like this mm-hmm. like romanticized. Is it the strip picture. club? Is the strip like, club? Like I think is yes, else, yeah. definitely. Uh huh. Do you want your music to be played in the strip club? Is that something? Yes, one hundred percent. Which songs off Unlimited? All of them. All of them. All of them. The whole thing. thing. Yeah. All of them. Like I just want to go to a strip club with AG and like Mm -hmm. just you know. I I would like to see AG cook in a strip club. I think that would be. It's happening. Yeah. Are there um like specific people that you want to meet out there that you're hoping to work with? Um, not really. I just I feel like um there's just something drawing me there. I feel like I'll just find the right people when mm-hmm. I get there but obviously like I'm bringing the people that I'm already working with right. with me do you have a power ranking of like Atlanta rappers or like uh, artists coming out of Atlanta I don't like I, I think I love like everything that's coming out of there right mm-hmm. now I think it's like a really fun like scene mm-hmm. that's great 
Um, I wanted to talk about Moa Lola, who you have on Banana Clip, and whose yes. uh, profile has like exploded over the past couple of years. Are you getting previews into the like Easy Gap collection at all? The, <laughs> the creative director. No. Do you think you'll get? Do you think you'll get the pieces they come I out? I mean, uh, maybe. I oh. actually have one. Um, oh. I have like the a shirt. Oh. Do you but like it? Is it comfy? Are you? Are I love it. it. No, okay. I love it. Great. It's it's. I love the whole, but I'm not sure she's working on it. Like mm-hmm. I don't. We never talk about those things. Uh-huh. What so do you I, talk about? What's uh, what's the vibe like? When? We talk about, uh, lo- I mean, love. We talk mm-hmm. about life. Mm-hmm. We talk about music. Right. Yeah. Do you, Do you want to talk about love? Because I think, uh, like a recurring theme in this album too has been kind of like love and technology oh, and how those things, um, kind of interact. I know, like you know, you you collaborated with Hannah Diamond also who talks about that a lot and a lot of the yeah. PC music in general is about kind of emotion and technology and the yeah. intersection um yeah how do those themes kind of influence your work I mean love is like a part of it's a very big part of like everyone's lives I mm-hmm. would hope mm-hmm. um especially so, during pride exactly yeah. um so I think it's just I'm just speaking from like experience mm-hmm. um taking like things that happen in my life or in my friends' lives. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just make songs about it. Mm-hmm. Is there is there any, like, concern about, like, telling too much of one of your friends' stories? Do you run that by um, them before you No, because I never tell them that it's about them. Uh-huh. Do you think they can guess? Is there... um, maybe. Uh-huh. There is one song that's... Um, that I wrote, so we'll see. Uh-huh. Has she... All of your friends have heard your music at this point? Yeah. Okay. Um... And then just running through the features list, Joey LaBeja, who's uh, part of the House of LaBeja, which is, um, you know, a pedigreed um, drag house. Is yes. drag something that you've been, um, like, involved with or, like, that you, that, uh, I'm not inv- that you consumed a lot? I'm not involved in it, but, like, I'm very, I'm very hype about it. Uh-huh. Like, what what, what hypes you up more, seeing your music played at the strip club or at a drag show? Both. Both. For different reasons. At a strip drag show At club. a strip drag show. Okay. <laughs> There, are you going to have any drag queens at the show tonight? Do you know? Um, I don't know, actually. Uh-huh. Maybe. I hope so. Uh-huh. Cool. Um, and then working with Oaklu. Like yeah. Any, um, you, yeah. Oaklu was somebody you had mentioned previously as someone you wanted to work with. Yeah. Was that, did you reach out or um, um, was the connection yeah. through PC? I mean, she's like one of my favorite artists. I think she's like incredibly talented. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think like, yeah, I... I made Star, and I was like, this is the one that I want her on. So I think AG reached out to her. and right. then they've worked together. She was yeah. on the 7G. Exactly. Right. And then um, she just did her verse. It's funny because, like, I, I met her for the first time, like, two months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like there's so many people on the, on the mixtape that I hadn't, like, met. Mm-hmm. Um, that I met like for the first time. This You're like year. Lady Gaga. It's like the Donna <laughs> Yeah, it's like just features. all over the place. Yeah. yeah Have but... you seen her perform live? She opened for Caroline Polchak recently. Have you ever seen? I haven't. Like I wanted to see her at um, at Primavera, mm-hmm. but I was in like a cab and right. traffic. Right, and right, right, right. So I missed her. That's rock star stuff. Yeah, you know, it was really, really yeah. annoying. Yeah. Um, also, I wanted to talk to you about your Boiler Room set, which was also in the past year. Was, yeah. that, was that something that was a long time coming? or? Um, I mean, I love, like, okay, maybe not love, but I, I like Boiler Room. Um, uh-huh. I think people have mixed feelings about <laughs> Boiler Room a lot of the time. I, mean, I know. Yeah. I don't really know what it's about, but, I mean, I think they do good stuff. Uh-huh. Um, and it was, it was really fun uh-huh. um, doing it. What was the vibe like of the crowd? Was it? Um, it was a kind of like that night. I think because they're like um, videotaping everything, right. people get a bit self conscious. Right. So it was kind of like a weird vibe mm-hmm. throughout the night. Are the night. cameras like really in your face? I always wondered about that. Ish. Uh-huh. Like you know they're there. Uh-huh. Um, Is that helpful to you as a performer that you have something no. to perform to? No, I thought it was kind of like, I think, like I said, like people were kind of like weirded out. So it it was kind of like a tense, like, I don't know. Right, right. Um, Not like one of my most favorite performances. What have have been your favorite performances that you've done? Now you have a couple Um, on your 
Wow. Um, I think I have to say um, the Primavera one, like um, both the PC one, that was fun, but like my own show. Right. There was, it was incredible. I forgot to ask, so while you were in London and discovering PC, were you able to go to any of those early shows at all? No, or just not, AG I wasn't all? even like thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Like I was just like listening, like I was very casual about it. I was just, you know, a casual fan, like uh -huh. listening on um, SoundCloud. What was like the music scene like, like adjacent to you during that period? Like what, what kind of people did you have around you? Um, no one actually, uh -huh. right. <laughs> I was very, I was ca that's I think that's also why I was um, moving around so much because I was like trying to find my place, so I like I was like kind of alone. Right. Yeah. What helped you kind of get a foothold? I guess other other than you know get, get sliding into DM uh, AG's DMs. Like what helped you find creative energy? Um, to your I think like process. definitely moving back to Sweden and moving to Stockholm and that's when I kind of like found um, my place and not necessarily like my place within like a friend group but more like my place in the world mm -hmm. like I felt like okay this is like um, this is where I'm gonna be like this is where I'm gonna live and like I it just felt right so that's like ground zero for you. For yeah, the definitely. Future. Are there other cities other than Barcelona? Like, are there other cities that you see yourself? It's just uh, Barcelona. Just, just Barcelona. <laughs> and Stockholm. Uh -huh. Maybe. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. I like LA. Right. Uh, but I can only be there for like maybe like three, four months at a uh -huh. time. What, what like burns you out about it? It's just... I don't know, I just really, like, I can't really relax unless I'm at home in my apartment in Stockholm. Right. So um, are there, like, are there venues you want to shout out in Stockholm? Are there, like, where should people go? Oh my god, I have no out? idea. Like, uh -huh. I do not go out at all. Mm -hmm. um, actually, there is one. It's called Follam. Uh -huh. it, that's a really cool venue. Uh -huh. um, I saw... Like my last like show before COVID there, and then I saw like did, the first one. See? So I saw Echo Two K. Oh yeah. And sure. then I saw Young Lean again. Oh. Like when. How big is Stockholm? Back. Like you walk down the street, and is there a chance that you just run into Echo Two K, or is it just like? Uh, I guess. I mean, uh -huh. yeah. Have you could. have you worked in studio sessions with him at all yet? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. Um, but I mean, it's not that big. It's, mm -hmm. but it's 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 like a good size. Mm -hmm. I feel. Uh, a medium, medium. Yeah, a medium. Uh -huh. So now you're ra you're wrapping up your uh, North America tour. I guess. Yes. You played New York, Montreal, um, L. A., San Francisco. Are there any cities that you wanted to tour this this time around that you didn't get to? I really, um, I would like to go to Toronto. I would like to go to Chicago, mm -hmm. and also like somewhere like Houston. Houston. Just because I really want to go to Texas. Okay. I want to What's see. What's the draw of Texas? I don't know. It just Atlanta. feels so, like, rowdy in, like, a weird way. Mm -hmm. I just want to see it. Interesting. Are you, yeah. like, do you like the cowboy aesthetic at all? Do you think the <laughs> cowboy album? Like, I'm from, like, what I usually call, the, like, Sweden's Texas. Okay. What um, is Swe what's Sweden's Texas? It's, like... It's like farmers, like, you know, uh -huh. hillbillies. Oh, okay, like, that's where I'm from. Uh -huh. So I just kind of, like, I have um, I have this, like, view. Like, I think Texas is kind of, like, the same. Was that tough growing up? So this is, like, Swedish rednecks, basically? Yes. Is it, was that, like, a hostile environment? Definitely. Uh -huh. Like, I grew up in, like, I grew up, like, 10 minutes from, like, a Nazi, like, mecca. <laughs> like, what, what mecca? Really? Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Is like that's where the Nazis were. Um, it, it, do you know what it's called? Or? It's called Huabu. Huabu, okay. Don't that's, go there. That's, yeah, I, mean, I have no <laughs> intention of it, but that's, that's quite terrifying. Yeah, yeah do, it do was. Do you think that affects what kind of music you make now, what you write about at all? Or? Uh, no, but I think it definitely, um, I mean, I think it definitely like affected me like as a person, mm -hmm. like, you know. Right. 
Was that like, a process like learning to accept Sweden again after having left? No, not really, because like I'm, I mean, I'm I'm never gonna live anywhere close to that place ever again. Uh-huh. Like Stockholm is a bit more chill. Okay. Sure. Um. So. Um. So no, nah, not really. Sure. What is Pride like in Sweden? Is that something you? So Pride is actually really funny. Like we celebrate Pride in July oh. and not June uh-huh. for is some June reason. Some other month is it? I. I really don't know. Uh-huh. Like it's midsummer today. Um, oh, but midsummer like the movie, like the movie, or yes. like there's a festival. No, like like the movie. Have you been? Is it, but there is. <laughs> is there some like event that's associated with it? Yeah, you like you do like you do everything in the movie except like kill except, people. Oh, really? So <laughs> yeah. it's a real so it's a real thing. <laughs> it's definitely in, including it's, like the flower. Crowd yeah, yeah, definitely. Have you done that? Is yeah, that... everyone. Like that's what oh, you do. Okay. Do you do it? You do it in Stockholm, or you go out into a field? Uh, you somewhere? can do whatever you want. Like, uh-huh. but usually you go out like into like the, um, like the countryside. Uh huh. Like it's. It's right. ex- exactly like that, except uh-huh. like no one's jumping off cliffs. No right. one's like killing okay, anyone interesting. did you like I the hope. movie did you like midsummer i loved it it was uh-huh. so scary did you think it was an accurate reflection of like it was uh, up to so the, up weird to the i was like what is going on and i knew that people were going to be like scared of coming to sweden right do you um, think should people be scared of coming uh, to sweden? maybe uh-huh. okay, <laughs> no um midsummer is actually like it's a fun like event uh-huh. um, what's your favorite thing to do of the- ju- you just yeah. like so like usually we just um go out to this house that my friend have and mm-hmm. you know you just like you drink mimosas you drink uh-huh. kava so you don't take mushrooms and then, like uh, i mean she did in the movie. actually like i think like all of my friends do during midsummer yeah oh, i mean sometimes okay um so yeah i think definitely people uh-huh. do that but um you, you eat and mm-hmm. then you like do flower crowns and then you go swimming and it's like it's so really it's a nice. chill time then, it's not you know. no it's it's very chill like uh-huh. you you eat a lot and then you drink like sweets like we we drink a lot okay cool so that's what you do eat and, and drink all day uh-huh. and then go swimming and then you know like the sun sets at like Eleven thirty, and mm-hmm. then it goes up again at like one do you have so songs like, for that vibe do you have songs that they should play at midsummer like my own songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll make one. You'll make, make <laughs> yeah. one. And then so Pride is in July. Yes. Uh huh. What's that like? Um, I've. It's been since we haven't like really like celebrated it in two years. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really sure what it's like anymore. But we obviously have like the parade. Um. And it's like parties and it's like it's more like a week mm-hmm. that we have i think it's at the end of july okay um that's when like everything's happening cool um yeah so that's all the questions i had prepared what what's next for namasen that can we uh give a little preview of what kind of work you're working on mm, i'm just like really like i am writing a lot of music i'm feeling very inspired right now mm-hmm. um so I don't really know where it's gonna land, but like, I'm just kind of in the process of making the music right now. Right. Um, and then we'll see, like I have to kind of like sort everything out and see what goes where, basically. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, good luck at your show tonight. Thank um, you. At the Rickshaw Stock in San Francisco. Thank you, thank Namaste. You.